I'm Heath, and I'm 12 years old. I'm Keith, and I'm 10. I'm Seth, and I'm 8. Hi, I'm Katrina, and I'm 10. This is Ariana, and she is 8. It was never really the plan, it just kind of um, evolved. Uh, she really showed an aptitude for math, and she got to like the trigonometry level. She was just buzzing along. I could see she's going to go into calculus one and two, and I thought, oh, I don't really want to learn this. It just kind of was overwhelming to me. Um, keep reading. Um, so she, uh, we did be enrolled in an online uh, uh, college algebra course that she did very well. So that just opened up a whole world of possibilities. My major is material science and engineering. It's involving nanotechnology, and I know I probably shouldn't say that word. <laughs> but um, basically right now I'm actually going to start working on antimicrobial um, creams, so basically to do with medicine. The goal, though, is I want to become an astronaut. So <laughs> this is kind of the, the stepping stone and um, a, something I've always wanted to do. I love science. I love math. Um, I like exploration, um, so this is the, the steps that are hopefully going to take me there. And I actually did apply to be an astronaut this summer, and if it comes true, I'll be really happy, but it might not this year. So by the time child number four, Heath comes along, I mean, when he's four years old and he was reading really well, he, um, he just kind of knew that's where he was headed, and he kind of was a ham, and he talked about being an actor and wanting to be a movie star, and then he decided he wanted to be a director. And he was a little show off, and he always joked about he was going to do it at 11 instead of 12. And uh, he did. He was he was a good little test taker, no anxiety. Even today, I'm always asking him, when's your next test? You know, when's your next paper due? And he's like, I got it under control. And it kind of makes me nervous because he's just so, I got it, Mom, don't worry. Yeah, it's really fun to go to college. Um, I, I know I'm really young, but I've got a lot of friends there. Uh, I associate well with them. A lot of them are about 18 or 19. Um, some of them are a little bit older than that. I have a lot of friends who are coming back to school, and they're even in their late 30s. So uh, it's quite a variation, and they're all, they all think it's neat. Uh, so, but they don't really think much of it after, I, after a while. You know, <laughs> Once you get over the initial shock of it, it's okay. Well, just the fact that I'm so young and, you know, it took them a long time. Some of them are really struggling in a lot of those classes. But um, uh, sometimes I like, I, I tutor qu quite a few of them. A lot of people think I'm a genius and they think, they all ask me, so are you really smart? And I just, I don't really know how to answer that, but I say, no, I, I think I'm just, I'm just normal. I am friends with other kids, but not as close as I am with older people. It's... I'm not, I'm not really sure if I can explain it because I've never really experienced it, anything else. So I don't, I don't, I don't really think I'm a freak or anything weird. It's just because, it, well, I suppose even though some people might treat me that way, I don't. Well, what I'm gonna graduate college when I'm 15, and a lot of people are are worried. You know, well, they're not. They're just concerned about me and what what am I gonna do because I can't even drive and I won't even be able to get a part time job yet. And with Keith, we had that old violin in the case for maybe two years now, and it needed repair, and no, I mean, I guess I didn't think of it, it wasn't a priority, and then when he found out we had it, he was like, oh, mom, can we fix it, can we fix it? And I was like, yeah, we will, we will, we'll put it off, put it off. He kept bugging me about it, bugging me about it, and, and he just, he has a, some natural talent. Now he says he wants to be a music major, so I can't get in his way. You know, I keep joking about, well, can you like double major and do pre-law too, you know, something, and I, I mean, we always joke about that because I, like, I so want somebody to be a lawyer, but you know, I may not end up with that, and it's not about me. I got to keep telling myself it's about <laughs> them. Well, I'm studying for the SAT now, and I think maybe like next year I'll be able to pass it. I'll be the fifth um, child to go to uh, college, and I hope that all my younger siblings can get to. But I'm also practicing the piano, but I don't take lessons for the piano, I just practice. Well, see, it's kind of easy once you learn one instrument. Once you learn to read music and you know where the notes are, really, you can play, so. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, the baby will just consume my whole time, you know, if she's teething or something, I feel like, Nobody got any attention except the baby, but that's kind of where they know, I got to be able to trust you to go do what you have to do.
believe me, I don't know really what Seth is doing up there. I hope he's doing his math, and I'll just check on him, you know, and, and, uh, and I do emphasize that I have to trust him. And Seth and I might, well, I'm homeschooled, and I'm not really sure what grade I would be in, but I know my, th my math grade's algebra. This is a skyscraper up here on the computer. It has a lesson about how to make triangles and how to, I mean, how to make that and how to make it look like it's popping out at you. And now, let's go. And then I've not, I've, so far I've only been drawing buildings since I want to be an architect. And so now my mom made this part of my school so every day. And I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna try to enter it in um, 12, like everyone else in my family. And then, four. When you look at the sky at night, something plays a trick on you. The moon looks bigger than the sky. Katrina is getting to be a good reader and pretty soon she'll be able to read all alone and I'll turn her loose. Turn you loose? Yeah. She picks up books on her own now even when it's not school time and that's good to see um, because then that lets me know I don't need to sit right here and then I can start working on the next one and that's kind of how it goes. As the other kids are studying independently right now throughout the house they can come to me with questions and I can help them but the idea is to teach myself out of a job. So far it's worked. Um, I'm not saying that all our kids are going to go to college by 12, but it's been a good goal age. Um, and hopefully they, they'll, they'll all go in that direction. Okay, well. Normal is two kids. <laughs> yeah, normal is two kids, yeah. But, you know. Yeah, we walk in the room and we're out of hand. So <laughs> And uh, but yeah, we are we are funny, and I know people probably see us in the grocery store or wherever, and they think, "Oh, there's that Harding family. They're sure different." But Lisa is under the weather right now. Yeah. She, she she hides it well. But but yesterday, uh, she was feeling sick, and she took a pregnancy test. And Anytime we thought, I feel sick, that's what I do. Yeah, and uh, when I she told me. Positive. I Stop. said, oh, I was so hoping, but no, not this time. It's just the flu. She's just sick. <laughs> so, major That's failure weird. in the factory <laughs> works. You, yeah, you got to you gotta produce. <laughs> you got to produce. So, we love having kids. I mean, yeah. I, I know it is strange because, you know, my financial woes, but 